unfortunately, it seems like handkerchiefs are something that people are carrying around now because of this, uh, because of the Rona, because of this gross, disgusting virus. These are things that people, some people are carrying around and it doesn't seem like it's out of the ordinary. I had an entire video on silk and handkerchief magic and pretty much saying that if you're carrying around a handkerchief, if you're carrying around a silk, you should find a nearest bridge and make it your best friend. I said that if you use handkerchiefs in your magic, you should practice a nene while jumping off of a high building. And you know what? I was wrong. I apologize. Why? Because more and more people are actually carrying these things on them. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick that you could do with a deck of cards and this godforsaken handkerchief. So it's a fairly simple trick. All you need is a, a deck of playing cards and your flag. In this case, your handkerchief. I'm representing the gay gang, which is why I have a, a pink handkerchief. But uh, you're more than welcome to represent any colors that you want, whether that's blood or crip. Me, I like to represent the gays because uh, we're here, we're queer, and we're not going anywhere. Um, so for this, we're going to have any card picked. We're going to have the, uh, let's say it happens to be the six of diamonds. That card is going to go in the middle of the deck and it's going to be cut so that uh, you don't know where it is. They don't know where it is. Not even Jesus himself knows where that card is. But we're going to take our flag and our flag is actually going to be the um, the vehicle that we're going to use to uh, show this piece of ledger domain. So we're going to take uh, the, the actual handkerchief and uh, we're actually going to show a little bit of uh, penetration here, which is something that uh, you obviously have no idea of because you are a uh, magician, of course. And we're, but we're gonna try to, to pretend like we know with the handkerchief. And it's a very simple premise. We're just gonna cover up the deck of cards. And here, we're just gonna take the actual handkerchief in our hand, hold it like this, and here you go. Here is the uh, miracle of penetration, sir. I'm just gonna use my dirty left hand And one card, one card alone penetrates through the uh, external pachydermatis. That's right, the six of diamonds, your card. You dumbass, you stupid bitch, you ignorant slut. That's your card. Um, and then uh, that's pretty much it. That's the trick. You penetrated the uh, handkerchief. And of course, uh, they could look at the actual flag itself. They could look at the uh, actual deck and they're going to find nothing but uh, disappointment by your father. They're going to find nothing but disappointment on the part of your father. So it's a fairly simple trick, I would say. Uh, it doesn't really require a lot in the way of a sleight of hand. As a matter of fact, I think the first place I saw this was in Mark Wilson's Guide to Magic. Mark Wilson's old Guide to Magic. I think his used a different handling. Mine uses a lazier handling. But uh, all you need is um, you need your, your gang colors and you need a deck. If you could get both of these, you could do this hot trick. Now, you're also going to need to know a control. Now, I know that you might not necessarily know a control, but I do know of a place where you could learn a, con <coughs> learn a control in the Pig K Card Academy. That's right, $5 a month gets you two videos every single week going over card and coin stuff. There's uh, 500 videos, from my understanding. 500 videos. That should be like a Guinness World Record. I don't think that it should be legal for anybody to do 500 videos of anything, let alone magic, but I've done it for your enjoyment. And uh, $5 a month gets you access to each and every single one of those videos from holding a deck to choosing a deck to more advanced, complicated sleight of hand and controls. In this case, you're gonna need one of those controls to control the selected card to the bottom. Oh boy, look at that. Excellent shilling technique here. And uh, you're gonna get a card picked. In this case, let's just pick the uh, five of diamonds and we're gonna control that card to the bottom. The way that I like doing that is the way my father taught me which is we're just gonna have this card stick out a little bit from the back. We're gonna pull up with our thumb as we lift up on the cards and we're gonna be able to get our dirty, disgusting thumb there so we could double undercut those cards or that card rather to the bottom of the deck. So that's just my simple little control. And guess what? It does the job. It does the job. It looks like that card's in the middle and we are cutting it deeper in the deck. If you wanna shuffle, do your uh, use your dirty little fingers to hold and put pressure as you shuffle so that card stays on the bottom. You see that? I'm putting pressure with my gross fingers so that card stays on the bottom of the deck. Oh boy, I really hope that this microphone has been holding up because for the past couple days, it's been breaking up. 
it's been breaking up every once in a while and I'm really hoping that hasn't happened in this video. Uh, and if I look at it in post and I see that it's been crackling or it's been uh, breaking up, your boy just might, um, might just take up my anger on a group of elementary school children. So once you get that card to the bottom, you're gonna get a break above that card. You see that? A little bit of a pinky break above that card. And I'm doing this as I'm showing my gang colors, as I'm showing my flag, uh, what I represent. And I could talk about what it is that I could represent with this uh, flag. In this case, I represent um, very, uh, very painful anal. And we're gonna cover the deck momentarily with the flag. And here's the move. Here's the move, you ready? I'm gonna take my dirty hand. I'm gonna reach underneath the flag. I'm going to grab the deck of playing cards and leave the card they picked. You see that? That's all, that's all I'm doing. Magic's not hard. It's easy once you know the secret. Marshall Brodian, you fuck, you old fuck, you dead fuck. So we're just gonna take the deck and we're gonna cover it by the uh, handkerchief. We're gonna come in, take up all the cards above the actual deck, or uh, sorry, all the cards above the card they picked and we're gonna place the deck on top. So right now, this is the situation. Their card is underneath the handkerchief, the rest of the deck is above, and we're ready to go. All we need to do is fold it in a way, so we're taking the uh, front end of the uh, handkerchief and putting it over the cards in this way. And then we're going to take the sides and we're gonna fold it underneath the deck. We're gonna take this side and fold it underneath the deck as well. So we're gonna grab the loose ends on top and hopefully hold the cards in a way so that the folds are actually holding the card in place. So right now the folds are holding that card from falling. I could show my hand. I could then use my dirty thumb to contact the card they picked just here. And from the front, it looks great. It looks like that card is just penetrating through the handkerchief. Of course, from the back, it looks like there was a card hiding there the entire time and I'm just pulling it down. You don't want to show it from that way. So now I just pull down and uh, I could show that the card they picked matched to penetrate the uh, external pachydermatis outer layer of the uh, handkerchief and we have a little bit of a miracle so a little bit of uh, a little bit of notes here when you're folding the handkerchief that's going to determine whether or not the card actually happens to stay on the uh, handkerchief itself so you want to make sure that you're folding the top and then we're actually taking the sides and we're folding them underneath the hand just like this so what that's going to do is that that's going to create a little bit of a, a little bit of a pocket so that, that hand or that card could stay in that pocket and not actually fall out like I just demonstrated. So one more time, uh, let me actually do that correctly so that you people don't laugh at me, even though I'm laughing at you for being in your house with uh, dirty, disgusting Mountain Dew breath and Cheeto dust in your fingers. So we're gonna have, uh, let's say for the uh, example, the Eight of Diamonds, that's gonna be the card that the spectator picked. That card is gonna go underneath the uh, handkerchief. We're gonna fold this first layer over the hand then we're gonna fold this layer underneath. We're gonna fold this layer underneath and we're gonna pick up to make sure that that actual card is staying within the folds of the handkerchief itself. Now at this point, we could come in, we could reach into this gross, disgusting situation that we have here and we could apparently pull out the actual card itself, which happens to be their card. Oh boy, what a lovely miracle. And uh, now done with something that you're holding on a day-to-day -day basis, which is uh, your gang colors, your flag. Uh, I've heard that if you put this in your left pocket, that means that you are a cool kid if you put this uh, hanging out your left pocket. So I would do that and walk around the uh, dangerous parts of town and see what happens to you. Ah, that's a trick. Uh, that's a trick, really. That's all I can do. That's all it is. Uh, make sure to do everything that people do when it comes to videos. Uh, I'm going to go figure out different ways to use a lighter. do that so I got a lighter your mom is very disappointed in you I just wanted to let you know that she tells me all the time 